you can't get away from motor transport even in the timeless setting of a nunnery. We've come to Ladywell Convent at Godalming to see what it means when a woman takes her vows and retires from life. Once upon a time, it was assumed that a nun lived a silent, passive life of contemplation. See what a fallacy these farmer nuns have made of that idea. It's hard to relate their modern farming methods with the way of life in this convent, which is contemplative and austere. Prayer is the dominant thing, but no one can say these women have retreated from the workaday world. Pathé Pictorial is privileged to give you an insight into their dedicated life. These are the Franciscan missionaries of the Divine Motherhood, pledged to serve the sick and poor and the destitute. And for all their quiet zeal, they're geared for modern life. There's always a psalm in their heart or a chant on their lips. There are holy readings all through their frugal mealtimes. Devout meditations unceasingly form the fabric of their lives, but these pious sisters are practical as well. They pray as they eat, and they work as they pray. Their brand of Christianity is muscular to an almost masculine degree. From all over the world, young women come to the novitiate here at Godalming to follow the footsteps of these missionaries and to turn the whole world into their hunting ground for souls. They have lessons and instruction for six months as postulants. They work in the printing plant, help with the harvest and potato picking, and do their share of the domestic duties as they prepare themselves for a lifetime of service and prayer. After six months of work and training, the postulant becomes a novice with a wedding ceremony in which she is made a bride of Christ. For two years, she hears mass, recites her rosary, and daily makes the stations of the cross. But never, never does she get out of touch with the outside world that she's sworn to serve. The world outside is her workshop, and she works there with zest and a sense of fun, along with her devotion. This is a nunnery where the family spirit is fostered, a nunnery that belies the cold, cloistered remoteness that we all too often associate with these mysterious communities. These women, for all their vows and their piety, have not forsworn the world outside. What aptitudes the novice here can learn to apply before she takes her final profession as a sister. She builds farm barns, swims and goes fishing. She learns some expert trades and makes herself an efficient teacher or nurse or cook. From here she may go to Africa, Australia, Asia to do a hard workaday job to the glory of God.